Hello everyone and welcome to a new status report video. In this one we're going to be talking a lot about the upcoming 0.58 update and how the loot will be in this update. So basically they started off by talking about the guard houses. As a lot of you know, guard houses in 0.57 provide a lot of good military loot but that's not going to be the case in 0.58. They said as work is underway on the regional control over the central loot economy, in the meantime basically uh, the loot will not be spawning anymore at guard houses. Instead, it's gonna, you know, be spread out over uh, the military bases and camps that are inland in Trenaris. Uh The structure is still gonna remain integral, so you can still go into it. But until regional control is implemented on the stable branch, they will remain without spawning loot. Moving on to camel buildings or the jailhouses, as some people do call them. Now these have had problems for a long time now. You've been able to, you know, there are certain glitches that can get you into the walls of these buildings and you can abuse that glitch to kill people basically. That's been there for quite some time now. And they have said that they have put some hotfixes for it, but basically, you know, people have been able to get around that. And instead of doing more hotfixes and putting more time into that, instead they're going to focus on the core issue that needs to be addressed and that is on the player controller. And until that, you know, is addressed and this issue is fixed where people cannot enter the walls of these buildings and abuse a glitch in there, loot will no longer be spawning in the camo buildings. And the loot that would have spawned there is going to be redistributed to other military buildings like tents, camps, and barracks. So that gets us into how loot will be at Rex. So they said with work on central loot economy continuing and the functionality of how it operates being iterated upon, non-interactive racks, tanks, destroyed UAZs have been removed from the loot spawning tables and the environment team will begin using them in their devastation passes across Trenaris. As with other structures, items that would normally spawn there will be redistributed across Trenaris. They also said, note, this does not include interactive racks such as vehicles you can open trunks or doors on. There was also some talk about loot respawning and persistence this week, and they said persistence itself has been functioning for some time, but the cause behind it being manually disabled on 0.57 stable is tied with an issue with loot respawning. We're aiming to have this issue resolved before we push 0.58 to stable. Once we've tested this on experimental and we are confident in the fix, players will be able to resume making camps, storing gear, and so on. Similar issues with dynamic event cleanup and respawn were the cause of static dynamic events, and these issues are currently being investigated and marked critical for the 0.58 launch. They also said, in addition to these issues, Bugs related to severe player position desync are currently being investigated and flagged as a must fix for 0.59. Next we're talking about bugs and glitches. So ghost sounds have been fixed in 0.58. Uh, what those are are basically like global atmosphere splitting or bandaging that you hear sometimes uh, even when no one is near you. So those seem to be fixed in 0.58. Also, weapon animation glitching, they did say the gameplay programming team is currently investigating the cause and symptom behind this animation glitching bug where you're constantly weapon swapping and you know it looks like you're just putting a weapon away and taking it back out. Sometimes your weapon is even invisible in your hands, as well as the issue with dropping your weapon when vaulting. The weapon vaulting fix should be coming to experimental soon and it is the aim of the team internally to also include a fix toward the weapon swapping animation bug. They did also touch on broken statuses in the status report. Uh, basically this is a bug where your statuses are frozen and they stay the same for a long time. Uh, they did end up tweeting out as well that there will be a stable hotfix coming for this tomorrow and that will be July 9th. So that hotfix should take care of this bug. And finally, we did also have a work in progress shot of the interior of an upcoming sedan. It looks like this is going to be for the Gaz Volga, and the interior there is looking pretty awesome. So I do hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this week's status report. If you have, don't forget to hit that like, and if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe for more Daisy standalone videos. If you missed the previous video, it was a new gameplay vid, so make sure to go check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.